Uh, welcome to another soundbite from the Karate for Mental Health. I've got uh, Greg and Joe with me from Somerset Applied Karate. And we're going to talk about why is it okay in karate to laugh and have fun. It's forbidden. Oh, sacrilege. It is forbidden. <laughs> Yet we've been doing a lot of on the session, which is great by the way. But why, why did you come to the conclusion that you, have, you are done with a strict Japanese karate because you're both coming from Shokoran background yeah. and you're going more towards the Okinawan or European style where actually we can have fun, which I am proponent of as well. Um, yeah. How did that end up? Explain yourselves! Explain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was quite lucky for my background, my sensei. We did Japanese shirt count, but mm -hmm. he was very much into um, the more European way of teaching, asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Mm. Don't be afraid to speak up. Um, so I've just always carried that on, really. I see here. So I can, so so I can look at you guys. This is really in my head. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be on the video. So yeah, no, I was lucky coming from that. So I wasn't. I don't think I was you know, as, as strict an environment as you were, because yours, from what you told me, <clears> was very <throat> strict. Um, mm. So yeah, it's more, I guess it's more your thing, really. Yeah, I came from a very traditional Shotokan background where all of my instructors, like instructors and within the association, were all descendants of JKA, KGB, at, uh, Asairu. So Did you say KGB? KGB. 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 I don't, I'm not even really sure people are allowed to ask questions. Mm -hmm. It's just like, if you have any questions, you weren't listening. Mm -hmm. So just get on with it. And just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I was always taught, find the fun in your training, which I never, I could never buy into <laughs> that idea. It, find surely, it. find the fun in it. Mm -hmm. Is that your hard training should be fun. Well, I argue, why can't fun training be hard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, 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 we both see this the same way. That I, I see it from a... A perspective that I'm trying to make the training fun because it wasn't. Mm. Whereas I suppose when it's always fun, you can carry that message forward. Yeah. So yeah, we come, we, we got the same idea, but from different mm. angles. I think I think Kurt is one of the very rare ones that actually forbids the fun because you go to the wrestling club. Yeah. Game. I think it's the fun. Japanese culture, yeah. isn't it? It's that culture <laughs> of you conform to what you're being told. You don't ask questions, which is fine if you're. Japanese, but we're not. We don't need. We we're more Japanese than Japanese. And Japanese. Yeah, it's just yeah. We kind of. I always call it like martial larping. Mm. <laughs> you know, like when you dress up in medieval. Do, yeah. Like that's what essentially. Sometimes we go too far into that where we try mm. and take on the Japanese accent, the Japanese language, and like sometimes we just need to relax. Yeah, relax. just chill out. We're from Glastonbury. <laughs> That's what we do. So how how did that impact your training, and how is it looking now different? And what is the difference you notice with your students? I, I think that just the nature of how we train now is much more. Um, it's more energetic, I would say. So it, it lends itself to more just people having fun, like you saw in there. Mm. You're, you're constantly talking back and forth anyway. Yeah. It, it's not. To say that people aren't training and they're talking, but you're discussing what you're doing, mm. you're working things out together. Um, yeah, it's a fun environment. I it's, think it's it's relaxed, so they're they're more expressive. Mm. Which yeah. is what you know, we don't want them to be what I call sausages in a sausage factory. <laughs> it's 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 allowing them to go ask questions. We had we had a one class where a student came to me and uh, Greg was teaching a session. And they were just really frustrated, and I was like, "What's the matter?" I said, "I, I, I don't, know, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't understand." Now, what I should have done is gone. Well, you clearly weren't listening to Greg, mm -hmm. so just, just, push just yeah, give, give them loads of burpees to do. But no, I said, "No, what I want you to do is go up to Greg. I want you to say the following words. Mm -hmm. I want you to say, Greg, I didn't understand the way that you explained it.'" Mm -hmm. And this all went on. Well, like, almost like they'd never been faced with that yeah, yeah. opportunity before. I was like, "No, go with him and just say." Not that I didn't get it, I wasn't listening, so I didn't get the way that you explained it. Mm. And then the teacher can, that actually helps the teacher to learn better as well. Like, okay, let's find a different way of explaining mm -hmm. it, either verbally or mm -hmm. physically. Sure. And you'll, you'll eventually get, because that's your goal, isn't it? Mm. The goal is to 
make sure that the students un understand the material as opposed to our teaching material where if you don't get it that's your problem and then that relaxes everybody as mm. well and then they can have more fun because it's not such a strict environment for sure I, I think I think we, lots of martial arts is conditioned that actually you can actually see that today on uh, when Peter was doing the doc talk any questions yeah, I thought that. I felt myself doing it mm. as well, which yeah. is weird because I, I like, I'm one of the ones saying don't we, do that. We, we can yeah, conditions to that, right? Somebody stuck in you and go, mm, no, I don't have any questions. And then you come on and, why didn't I ask? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go this one. Or people running after something and, oh, I don't have this question. So it's bizarre, but yeah. Yeah. Is your, your students, I spoke, I suppose, I beneficial from that, that environment now and you see them more relaxed and, and do they learn better? Do they learn quicker, you think? I think they do, yeah. 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 I found in my club, because we're doing games and, and relaxing most of it as well, that it doesn't look that crisp, but people have more skills. If that's fair as yeah, that's a really good, Yeah, absolutely. But I think it depends on what you're after. Mm. Like, if you're after, like, really, yeah, super technical <laughs> aesthetic karate, then the way we train is not going to get mm. you there. But, like, if you're after kind of quote unquote effectiveness, mm. then I think it's a beneficial way to train. Cool. Well, thank, thank you very much for uh, joining me and teaching for us. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Is that okay.